welcome back to another video if you guys are new here make sure you go ahead and subscribe to this channel because i am dropping like all of my bomb insights information tips everything like all for what free for free y'all like so why are you not subscribed but if you guys do not know who i am my name is zaria i am the owner of obutta a body care brand that specializes in body butter body oil and body polishes and of course we have you know extra little items here and there but those three are my main specialties for my brand and i have a video for you guys today today we are going to be talking about how i print my labels at home or how you can print your labels at home um i have a laser a brother laser printer so i will show you guys that it is a bit pricey if you guys want your labels to look really professional waterproof and all of that so i will definitely give you guys an affordable way to print your labels at home i also wanted to mention to you guys that we're going to have a new upload every monday at 6 p.m eastern standard time so make sure you guys are looking out for any new videos i have a whole list of new content for january and february so make sure you guys are checking that out because all of the information and all of the things i'm going to be putting on this youtube channel are going to be bomb chef kisses okay so let's get right into this video before we get started you're going to need a few things you're going to need a computer a printer some laminator pouches your laminator and then you're going to need some labels um sorry for the background noise but you're gonna need some labels and then a cutting board or a paper trimmer you don't have to get one that's this big but i just prefer something that was of this size because the little ones just weren't working for me at all okay and just a little side note this is just something that i do in my routine i know other people they don't use avery because they feel like the labels cost a little bit more expensive um i've just been using avery ever since I started so it's like it's hard for me to like you know try new things and like that so whatever works for you works for you just experiment with different things but I'm pulling up the Avery website and I'm looking for that label ID number right there um, so that I can be able to get the template and just import my design onto that template and print with ease so that is what i'm doing right now and then i'm also showing you guys the dimensions um you want to make sure your design is that dimension and you aren't making it too big or too small and it just looks just right okay the process is like super super easy y'all it's not hard at all all you need is a printer computer and the other things that i've named i just find it so much more convenient to just print yourself like i don't want to wait for anybody to deliver my labels and you know i don't want to wait in line to have to print my labels or anything like that so this is why i'm just showing you guys this video because this is just for me just one of those things that i just can do myself like boom 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 done label my stuff and go you know so right now i'm just perfecting my design in uh canva right now um, I'm going to download it. Well, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm downloading it and then I'm going to import it on Avery on the template. So once I'm done designing, I'm going to pull up Avery. I'm going to pull up that template. Remember, we put in that number, we pulled up the template and now it's just ready for us. So you're going to go to your downloaded files and as you can see there goes the label right there so i just like to put it in the top left corner and then drag down that corner to the right and just like push it over and size it to the right size so after i got my label all sized correctly and it looks 
good um, i'm just gonna go ahead and save my file and one thing you want to do is save your file under something you are going to remember so if it is called rose petals and it is a four ounce bottle you need to name it that and name it as body oil body butter it just makes the process so much simpler and you are staying organized and on top of things okay so after you save that it gives you the option to print and you're gonna press print it yourself because that's what we're doing we're doing it at home if you ask avery avery to print it for you it is gonna cost a lot like it's just it's just too much i don't understand the prices but whatever so now you're just gonna see me load my printer up um i don't know how you guys this printer loads but mine's is like face down so um you definitely want to print out a test sheet um another thing i want to tell you guys is that when you press print it yourself it's going to ask you the option to download a pdf file make sure you guys are saving that pdf file so that when you are trying to print more labels then you already have that available and you do not have to go through the whole process over again before you slap your labels onto your bottles you want to make sure that you wipe them down with a disinfectant wipe because the labels will not stick to anything that is oily or wet or anything like that this is how my labels look they got a little messed up but that really doesn't bother me too much you know sometimes a girl might use it but i don't think i'm gonna use these labels at all because i just don't like their design but on the bottles like on the body oil bottles there is a line where you can line up your label and just stick it on there and literally this is how it looks guys doesn't that look nice okay so i'm just gonna sit back and be quiet and just let you guys watch the whole process all over again but this time we are going to use our laminator to laminate our labels if you guys do not have a laser printer at home so here i am again just redesigning on canva and then i'm going to show you guys how to you know import it on avery and the whole process all over again okay this process is also really good if you do have an inkjet um the difference between an inkjet and a laser printer is that inkjet uses ink which can cause your la your labels to like smear or just fade away um a laser printer just uses a laser so like it's so 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 much better than an inkjet but if you do not have the funds i completely understand girl like you know but either you can um use your inkjet and just laminate your products or you could just go to office depot and just have them print your labels for you So I got my laminator warming up. So while I while it's warming up, I'm just going to go ahead and take my laminator pouch and I'm going to insert my labels right inside of that, okay? And just make sure it's no air bubbles or air, anything like dust or any unnecessary things inside of that because once you laminate it, that's it, girl. You that's it okay so just make sure it is perfect no air bubbles or anything like that so in this part i decided to use a different label um something that i just already had made um earlier not early in this video but you know before 
So as you can see, like my laminator is warmed up. It is sealing that label inside of it and it's just slowly coming out. Um, I did try to do this hack before, like where you just laminate only the front, but that didn't work for me, okay? I don't I don't know, but y'all try that on your own. So um it slowly comes out and i just put it back in there like for a second run again just to make sure that it is literally sealed okay and lastly this is where your paper cutter comes in handy or you can get a paper trimmer or you can use some scissors if you got a real steady hand girl but i just like to use this because it's just like quick and just to the point okay like scissors i mm -mm, it's gonna be all squiggly all over the place i don't know i don't know girl but you just line it up it has like grids on it and stuff like that you just line it up and take your time that's the most important thing just literally take your time trying to cut this okay after i'm done cutting this is what we're working with it looks so good okay literally don't watch i'm gonna just fast forward so y'all don't have to watch me struggle okay i think the hardest part is just trying to peel that back piece off but this is how my labels look um i'm gonna put it on a jar for you guys so you guys can see but it's just as if you were to um print your labels and just stick them on really like it just has that glossy look effect um so i definitely recommend for you guys to do this trick if you are trying to print your labels at home this is a trick that is really really good if you have an ink jet okay look how good that looks yeah all right and that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it make sure you guys subscribe if you have any questions or any like video suggestions make sure you leave them in the comment section and i will check you guys out in my next video